Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on a gift that I received this past Christmas and I'm talking about the Louis Vuitton key pouch. This one is in the monogram. This is a pretty cute and nifty little bag that has become pretty popular because of the different ways that you can use it. And I think also for the price point of $325, I think it makes for a great gift or just a great purchase from a well-known designer. And I think just by owning it for a few weeks, I can tell that this is pretty well made and that it's going to last me for a long time, or at least that's the hope. So as I mentioned, this is the monogram canvas. And so both the front and the back have the same design. There is a gold chain over here that comes with, I'm not sure what type of clasp this is, but it's meant to hold your key and I'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit. But it does also have a gold zipper here on the top. And the neat thing is that you can basically hide this chain if you don't really want to hold by it or clip it onto anything. So if you put the chain inside, you can completely zipper it shut and you won't see any chain from the top, which I think is actually kind of neat. And again, if you want to have it out, you can zipper it nicely without the chain getting in the way. Inside, there are no pockets or anything like that. It's just one medium-sized opening section over here and it's all leather inside as well. And I want to say it fits a pretty good number of things given its size. But before we jump to that, let me show you how to open this chain clasp because I honestly had to watch like two YouTube videos to really figure it out. So in essence, you want to hold the clasp down here towards the bottom and you want to lift it up and out. So this is the clasp right? And this is the bottom where you have the logo right here. You have an LV. So if you put your other hand holding it and your other hand grabs the section over here, you want to lift and pull out. And I say this with great detail because I was watching various videos and I still could not figure it out. And to close it, you basically just push it down like this and lift it up again so that it just clicks into place. So you can't just kind of push it in there. You do have to lift it slightly to go back into the pin. So I do have my house keys. And so if I lift it and open, put it in there, and this is what it looks like. I can have my keys out of the pouch or I can put them in. So if I were to put them in, just close them up, this is what the pouch would look like. So there's still a little bit of a wave over here because it's an odd shaped item, but nothing concerning. Now let's talk about what fits inside. I have here some cash and if you just fold your cash in half like this, it's not going to fit. So I'm going to put that in here. And it just is, I want to say like, I want to say it almost makes it, but it doesn't. It would get caught if I were to try to zipper it. So you can't just fold it in half and put it like so. You would have to fold it again, which is fine, but just letting you guys know that. So you'd have to fold it one more time and then it fits no problem. That's it right there. If I wanted to put some cards in as well, so that's what that looks like. And if I were to close it, very smooth. So there's no ridges or anything on top. It's completely flat, right? At this point, I could try to put my keys in here just to show you guys what it would look like. It's not smooth. There's a bump here where my key mostly sits, but I wouldn't say that's necessarily a bad fit. But, you know, it definitely, depending on the key you have, it may or may not work. If I don't put my keys in here, let me show you if anything else fits. 
I have here some mint and it fits, but you can kind of tell that the top is a little bit stretched, not too bad, but a little bit. And it does look a little bit bulgy on the sides, but nothing I think too, too bad. If you don't want to take mint, I'm gonna try putting in this lip glow, lip balm here. And maybe I'll just have to shift some things around. But it also closed as well with a similar, not problem, but similar observation that the top is a little bit stretched and it definitely isn't smooth, but it does fit. So I feel like if you need this for some occasion or if you bought this for the sole purpose of just wearing it casually and you don't really care much if it gets stretched out or whatever, then I think this is more than fine. And as I mentioned, I think it's built well that I feel like it could withstand some wear and tear from putting in all these oddly shaped things. The max I think I can put inside here other than cash cards and slip balm or mints is maybe a scrunchie. So I have that here. And by the way, this is kind of what it's looking like in here. And it also closes. And I think that's about it. I don't really recommend putting anything else unless it's something flat and smooth. Maybe a band-aid, you know, maybe eyeglass cleaning wipes or something like that, that doesn't take up too much space. If you wanted, you could also swap the lipstick or the mints for something like an Advil container. I love having these with me because I absolutely hate getting headaches. So, Again, the shape is not the best, but it does fit with the keys out. If you were to put the key in, essentially I would only recommend cash, credit cards or cards and the key itself. I don't think there's room for much else, but that's pretty much it. I think this is a nifty little pouch in a really good price point and that makes a really, really great gift or for personal use as well. I would have totally bought this if it wasn't gifted to me. I think it's really clever how it's designed and especially for those errands where you really just need your keys, maybe a card, um, cash, and you want to have something to maybe put coins in or to have a little pouch with you, I think that's great. Or alternatively, if you just want a place to keep your keys and you don't want them to scratch anything inside your bag, you are more than welcome to just put the keys inside the pouch itself and throw that inside your bag. But that's all from me, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Until next time, bye.